Cliff, uh, an opening day defeat is not what uh, anybody associated with this club uh, would have wanted. We, we took the lead, but um, how crucial to the ending of that game in terms of Thamesmead uh, snatching the three points was that sending off, do you, would you say? Oh, it was um, pivotal. Um, once you go down to ten men, the numerical advantage is, is, you know, is there to be seen. There's always an overload um, and, and your defenders have got to press the ball but then there's always someone open and um, and that was paramount in the second goal. Um, we will press forward and then there's someone for it at the back post and they score a goal. It, it was quite a tight first half, only a couple of chances for, for both sides. Um, going in at half time, how satisfied were you uh, based on the, the first half? I was pleased. Um, as you know, any time we can keep a, a solid defence and, and keep the scoreline down to a minimum, you've always got a chance to nick something the other end and um, with the players that we've got in the front line we've got match winners um, and, and as you've seen there with Corey's free kick uh, he's a player special player that we've brought in and he can do that week in week out he's, he's got fantastic ability um, and there's more to come from him and I think at the back um, I think you'll, you'll want to heap praise on Ruddock Yala today won't you yes uh, I thought he was outstanding um, you know, I think they recorded maybe three, four shots on our goal, and and it was down to you know the back three, uh, especially Ruddock marshalling that defence and keeping a you know keeping the scoreline as, 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 as small as possible. And um, I was really pleased, really pleased with the back three. And what was your initial um, view of the of the sending off? As you see it, um, you, you're down on ground level. You're looking straight across the uh, the pitch to it, towards it. Uh, what was your um, initial view? To be honest, about um, blaming officials and things like that, it it didn't look any worse than any of the challenges that was going on today. Um, but it's just one of those things that. You know, these things happen and, and, and you hope somewhere down the line it gets levelled up and, and, and you get the breaks um, some of the games that we've got coming up and, and then um, times when, you know, you're under the pressure, something falls your way, you get sending off for a penalty decision and, um, and what happened in the start evens up later on. But it's difficult because these it's a result, results business, these are the kind of things that you don't need happening, um, you know. If, if, if they if they get the decisions right, you know it's a it's a it's a fair game, and um, and and the deserved winners win the game. But when these things happen, it's not a lot you can do. You know, you just got to keep going and keep your head up. Now, as with any side with a lot of new players, you, you need them to, to gel out there when they're actually playing uh, matches and not just uh, training when you're playing for points. Uh, how, how well do you think they gelled for, the, for that first 90 minutes? I thought, yeah, for, for what I saw, um, you know, defensively, I thought we were superb. And, um, and going forward at times, I thought we, did, we created a lot of opportunities and some breathtaking stuff at times and um, you know they stuck to the game plan done exactly what I asked so uh, I'm really pleased and I'm proud of them for the effort they put in the work rate was tremendous and um, you know if they carry on playing like that they're going to win games a lot of games so I'm really pleased with what I've seen out there um, we've still got strong players to come back um, that we've been missing today um, our 25 goal a season man is away for a while, so um, you know, the responsibility is there for these guys to go make a name for themselves. But we, we look like that we got strikers that didn't make the um, the impact of Billy Hunt not being a, around too too great. Um, didn't look that significant, or there's people that can fill that spot, or was, was it quite significant for you to to be missing um, him at the start of the season? Well, you know, anyone that scores 25 goals in a season is going to be significant. Um, but you know, I put my trust in the guys that we have here. Um, they've had a brilliant pre-season, and um, you know, as soon as the first one goes in, the rest will start to follow. But you know, they're not shying away from the task. They're up for it. They, they're keen as mustard, and they just want to get going and play as much as they can. And the goals will come. And we don't have to wait very long until the next game, uh, Monday. Uh, Dave Lee, uh, they've been hammered uh, today. So, what will you be looking for from your from your players on on Monday? Uh, more of the same, I think. Um, they'll be in the same boat as us. 
a bit nervous, you know, looking for that first win. And um, and same same as us. Um, I think we had a thrilling game here last season, which ended up 4-3. Um, hopefully it's not like that again. <laughs> but um, you know, I just want the boys to give me everything they've got, and um, you know, the, the, the team that deserves to win will win the game. They, they say it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Would you go along with that? Exactly. It's a long season, and um, you know, the positives are you know we've a weakened squad now. We've only you know stronger players coming back. You know, that today was a good display against a strong team, and um, you know, more, more performances like that is what we need. And, and despite losing today, how pleased are you to actually get going now? We've had oh. so many pre-season games, there's been all the talk, isn't there, and all the build-up, and suddenly today arrives, and, and now that one game is un, you know, it's out of the way, mm -hmm. uh, and now it's a case of now really playing for points. Every game now is either playing for a cup competition or playing for points. Yeah, yeah, this is um, what we play it for. Um, we want to do well, we want to push up as much as we can, and we want to make a statement in this league that, you know, you know the, the, the Haybridge of old uh, from last season, the way they started, isn't going to be the team that uh, is out there today. It's going to be a completely different team, and they're going to be competitive. And you know, no one's going to come to the Swifts and get an easy ride. It's going to be difficult for everyone. Um, you know, we're not singing the houses down and saying we're going to do this or do that. We will be where we deserve to be um, at the end of the season. Um, but you know, we're, we're going to give everything we've got. And just finally, um, tell us a little bit about uh, Harry Priddle. H how long have we got him for? And uh, what was your um, assessment of his, uh, his short spell today? Um, yeah, he's a young lad that um, I've got him from Dover. Um, he's, uh, he's been one of the fortunate ones at their academy to be taken on by the first team. I think they only took on two players from the academy. And he's done his pre-season with the first team. So at his young age, uh, you know, it's a fantastic achievement for him. He was quite successful with his academy and we, we've, we've invited him in and look at him. Um, we think he's got a terrific engine. Um, you know, he works his socks off and uh, you know, he just runs and runs and runs and he's got great technique. So uh, you know, I'm, I'm pleased to be able to give him time on the pitch and, and let him you know, start his journey uh, as a Hebrew Swiss player. And, um, I think again there's another player with that terrific quality, there's more to come from him. I get the impression there's a lot of players out there that make you smile. Yes, yes, um, all of them, you know, that's the reason why I signed them all. Um, you know, we're, we're here together, we're all going for the same um, goals and everyone in that dressing room, you know, I, I back them to the high hill and, you know, we're like a family at this club. And, and these are part of the family, and everyone that comes here believes in what we're doing, and you know the youth that we we try and bring through. Uh, it's a fantastic club for any young player to come in and try and get um, their careers going, and hopefully somewhere down the line we should see them in the Premiership somewhere. But um, I'm just delighted with these boys. They, they they give me everything every week, and the, the attitude is spot on. They look really smart today, and. Um, you know, I can't fault their efforts today. I think they've been superb for me. Okay, thank you very much.